Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. For today's review, we're going to take a look at the Mythic Legion's Deluxe Barbarian Builder Set by The Four Horsemen. Before we proceed, I just want to say thank you to those that have subscribed to my channel and those of you that watch my videos. If, you see, if you're seeing my videos for the first time, um, please do subscribe. I really appreciate your support. And here's the packaging for the Barbarian Builder. So as you can see, it's a standard um, style for the Mythic Legions series, but being the Barbarian Builder, it is much, much bigger. So here's a standard blister for comparison. It's pretty much double the size. And spin around to the back, or actually the sides, you can see the alternative heads. And then on the back here, you've just got a nice artwork of a battle scene. And down here, if you want to read that, you can pause right there. And down here on this side, you've got the emblem of the Nimble Bear. And let's just take a look at the inside. So this packaging is very collector friendly. This backing card, it's actually taped, but I've already um, cut away the tape. You can just slide the backing card off to access the figure inside. So it's good if you want to keep the packaging. And here is the inside of the packaging. As you can see, the figure is sitting there and it is held in by one cable tie at the back. There. And everything else basically is sitting in the tray, but these two horns here are held in by clear tape as well. And on the tray in the back, you've got some weapons and also two additional sets of the helmet ornament. For the sake of not uh, getting things too confusing, I'm going to go through the accessories with the parts still on the packaging. So, starting with the main tray, you've got the figure sitting in, in the middle obviously, and from the top you've got an extra um, pair of antlers, so these will appear to be like reindeer or some kind of deer antlers, which you can stick onto the helmets. And here you've got the bull horns. So they might be like water buffalo type horns, very long and curvy. And then you've got these shorter ram horn type um, ornaments for the helmets. And coming down here, you've got an extra head. And this head is like a um, barbarian knight type design. And that's definitely my favorite head from the Mythic Legions line. So you get two heads with this set. You've, get, you've got the bearded barbarian helmeted head and also this one. And then coming down here, you've got a pair of these spiked shoulder pads. So these are the spiky design ones. So you get a pair of those. And you also get a pair of what appear to be um, much more rounder. They're like, they look like knight armor um, shoulder pads but they're painted in this black color, so it gives it a, like an appearance of leather. So you get a pair of those, and you get an extra loincloth, which is it's like fur with leather and some metal ornaments hanging off it. So you get two different types of um, loincloth with this set. And then you also get this armored side apron piece. And this is nice and soft plastic. Again, it's painted in this dark color scheme, so it kind of looks like leather. But I think this came from the the knight figure. So you get two of the uh, two different aprons. You get the armored apron look, and you also get this leather apron that's sitting on the figure at the moment. And now moving on to the weapons tray. So you get the axe, which you can turn into a double sided axe or leave it as a single sided axe you get a shield and that's the adapter for the shield to hook onto the figure's arm um, you've got a little dagger single sorted uh, single handed sword double handed sword and a spear and down here you've got two extra sets of um, helmet ornament so these are like bat wings and these are like eagle wings and here's a closer look at the figure uh, I've just got the Dark Knight helmet and also the bat wings on him at the moment uh, for no particular reason. I like them all. Um, so anyway, let's have a look at the figure. So he's got really nice musculature on this sculpt, nicely painted, a tan um, skin tone, 
have a look at the back very nice sculpting detail in the um, leather waist um, ornament you can see all the little markings in there so it's very nicely done nicely painted there's like a black wash and also some highlighting so that's really nice and the rest of the armor the gauntlets the leg armor and also the helmet um, it's lacking the bronze wash that was applied to the series one release so this one is pretty much a straight um, black it isn't full-on black it's a little bit more like a really dark gunmetal but there's no sheen or wash or anything applied to the armor parts which is a little bit of, bit of a shame because I actually kind of like that in the first wave and have a look at the leg musculature very nicely painted very nicely detailed and just quickly show you how different horns can change the look of the same helmet um, very dramatically so here I've got the the same kind of evil knight helmet with three different types of ornaments so you got the ox horn you got the um, bat wings and also the ram's horn so you can see they look very different very cool still and they're so easy to customize to change the look and feel of the character and let me just quickly swap this over to the bearded look to give you an idea of how easy it is and how many options you have with this set and here they are so helmeted a bearded helmet with deer horns very cool with the eagle wings very cool and also the ox horns so one of the best things about this series is of course the ability to swap out um, any parts of the figure that you want with any other figure in the series so here I've just got um, a few different barbarian sets to show you how little changes can make a character look completely different and I've also got here a dwarf legion figure that I used to combine with a barbarian figure to build a dwarf barbarian so yeah you can see they're all completely different looking but they're pretty much made from the same set and let's have a quick look at the articulation it's pretty much the same as the atlas figure and the Kador figure that I reviewed earlier so the head is on a massive ball joint so it goes up that much down that much all the way around tiny bit of tilting from side to side shoulders can lift up that far and down that much all the way around but just watch the paint rub make sure nothing is rubbing uh, no bicep swivel but you do get the swivel at the elbows and single jointed elbow slightly less than 90 degrees but it works there is a swivel at the gauntlets so you can swivel his whole gauntlet around and then there's a, uh, there's a pin and hinge at the wrist so rotate and then turn in and out and then moving on to the waist it's a one massive ball joint so there's no actual ab cut for the figure but you can actually rock him back and forward on that massive ball joint so he can crunch forward that much and back that far tiny bit of side to side which is good and then obviously rotate and then coming down to the hips he's got a pin and hinge for the hips so he can do perfect splits he can kick forward that far kick back that far and he has a thigh swivel hidden up inside here so you can rotate his whole leg and then coming down to his knees single jointed knee joint which gives him about 90 degree bend and it also pivots at the knees I mean rotates at the knees and coming down to his ankles tilt down that far up that far and then obviously it does uh, actually it does turn but I think this one's a little bit tight let's try on this side okay maybe it doesn't turn but it has um, ankle pivot which is really good and coming back with my other barbarian figure it actually does rotate at the ankles the other one that I was using before 
um, just had a bit of a stuck joint. In terms of height, the Barbarian figure comes in at just under 17.5 centimeters, which is roughly 6.8 or 6.9 inches. Now for some size comparisons, first up is the Mythic Legion's Thor figure, and this one is both our Shadowhorn. Here he is with Gothotropolis Minotaur the Duck. Here he is with Marvel Legends Builder figure Ares. Here he is with DC Icons Superman. And finally, here he is with Marvel Legends Cyclops. I absolutely love the Barbarian Builder set, and as you can see here, I have three of them. That's how much I love them. And the beauty with this set is you can customize your own Barbarian to how you like it, even if you have multiple sets. They can all look completely different. Definitely check out the Mythic Legions figures if you're new to these. I highly recommend them. They're one of my favorite toy lines at the moment. And that concludes my review of the Mythic Legions Deluxe Barbarian Builder Set. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks again for watching. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for another toy review.